blend it in softly and then there's some much much darker on the um, body so we'll take some indigo a little touch of burnt sienna and just drop that in on the body here for the darker areas which we'll go over later as I say with the uh, a very light blue pastel I'm going to use, turquoise pastel. And these very fine details on the wings I'll put in later. It's just to get this iridescence that we want. Tickling it in, letting the wet into wet do the work after that. And finally, the dry brush will just blend any little areas that don't quite look soft enough. There we go. Now we let that dry off and then we can come back in with the background here with the wet into wets. Now we're going to paint the wet into wet background. With this and I'm going to do is an oval mop. And, uh, First of all, soak all of the paper, except for the butterfly of course, and then drop in my lightest colours first and finish with my darkest and strongest. Now the thing with this is, not easy to see where you've been. Fortunately on this particular painting, except on the butterfly itself, I've got um, masking fluid just around the edge of the butterfly's wing so it makes it a bit easier but I'm going to have to look along the paper and the light's very dull today to be able to see where the water hasn't touched see any shiny areas like I'm just doing there now water hasn't quite got to there we go and now that makes the whole paper surface wet which is very important because if you're dropping wet into wet it has to flow we don't want uh, any hard edge dry areas that's what we're going to be doing later so that's a later technique is the wet onto the dry to give hard edged ones now into that we drop our next lightest colors which in this case for me are going to be oriole and yellow because i want a nice light green coming in later so i'm going to paint a wash of that virtually over the whole thing where the various greens are here Come back in with some raw sienna now, a slightly warmer yellow. Now I'm going to go down to some burnt sienna, quite different to the raw sienna. The same thing, but it's been uh, cooked basically, it's been burnt. Now let's go on to the greens. I'll take some cerulean blue and uh, a little chrome yellow, ultramarine, and the chrome yellow. very much darker green going on around this butterfly's wing come right up to the edge there quite darkly it will spread into it slightly so you're giving the out of focus idea but not too much and this is where we're going to get quite dark now so I'm going to take some Prussian blue and a little touch of burnt sienna to start making my much darker areas in here. I'm going to just pass all over that later. Come round the wing. This dark. And these areas here. 
on this seat head. I still want a little greener, so I'm going to add a bit more. Chrome yellow to that there. Lemon yellow is opaque, so it should. Just blend in a little bit of burnt sienna and all warms just into these bits where they've been lost with all the blues going on. Well, I've got my set of unison pastels and I'm going to use these three blues out of it but I think they're about the closest. We've got the warm showing through. We'll start with our darker one and just lightly, gently scumble that over the top just to try and get this feeling. This is purely experimental but it's, it should work. Not something I've seen done before. I'm inventing it myself so we don't know if it'll work or not. It does seem to be, doesn't it? I'm very tempted now to come in with a, a brush and wet this down and make it a bit darker because um, these pastels are going to show lighter against it, but not enough, I don't think. So what I'm going to do is, as I'm exploring and experimenting, is come back now with the, with the, with the brush and just wet down this paper a bit more and make that a tone darker, in fact. Go straight over all of this lot and give it one quick wash. Come back over the pastel in a moment. But I, I know that these pastels are going to show a lot better against a. I wasn't quite because the watercolour is always drier, tone lighter, and that's what's happened here as well. Yeah, we we'll let that dry. Then we'll work back over with the pastels again. We're working between watercolour and pastel. You can actually mix the pastel with the water, of course, as well. And right, we've still got some masking fluid here to remove as well. And that bit of seat head because I haven't quite finished painting that yet. And now this is ready to put more pastel onto. So we'll continue with the pastel first of all and we'll go back to that seat head because it can work anyway in any direction we want to. At the moment we're just putting on another mid blue, just following it through over this, just scumbling it over the surface. This is why I wanted a, a smooth surface paper because it'll just take the pastel lightly without too much texture. We can do a little bit of soft blend, but we don't want to lose the brightness of the pastel. If we blend it, we lose that lovely bright quality of the pastel. We don't want that. I think it might be nice to go for a slightly deeper blue as well. Let's have a look at our um, lovely cobalt blue that's in here. And I just want to tickle in a little bit of that lovely cobalt blue that has been lost in the watercolour. Just look at that. A beautiful blue we can get there, look. Just tickling it in. I don't know what you think, but uh, I think that's quite attractive. And it's not something we could have got as, as vibrantly just with the watercolour alone. So, so I'm saying by all means experiment with mixed media and don't just do what the books say or teacher says. If you want to explore and experiment, you do it. And I'd say we'd almost finished this painting now. We don't have too much more to it. Give me a few little details here and there. And there's our blue butterfly iridescently shining out. There we go, one blue butterfly. Now on this particular painting, the butterfly is going to be carefully painted before the background, but I want to mask off these flowers so that they can be painted at the very end. 